Today we're going to talk about how to create your first sales funnel. Very simply, just like 101 basic course, because time and time again, I come across businesses, entrepreneurs, consultants, coaches, some of them come to the free discovery calls with me, some of them um, are part of Facebook groups that I'm in, some are purchase virtual marketing academy, um, and their problem in marketing and growing their business is that they don't have anything in place as a simple funnel. Um, some of them might be building the list. So, you know, click like if that's you and you've started building your list and you've created a freebie. But a lot of them, although they have a freebie, they don't actually have any funnel in the back end that will help them take people who sign up for the freebie to become their clients. So today, that's what we're going to talk about, how to address the problem. So, you know, a lot of the times when you look at funnel representation, it's like a funnel picture that you have lots of leads come at the top of the funnel and then they filter through the process until you have clients and sales come out at the other end. And that's quite a true representation of what's happening in marketing systems because a lot of people will come to your website and not everyone who comes to your website will actually sign up for the freebie that you are promoting there. So if you have a good converting sales uh, opt-in page, you could have you know, 50, up to 80% conversion rate. So the rest of the people, so you know, 20 to 50%, the rest of the traffic will look at the page and then not choose to sign up. And there are different reasons why this happens. Some people when they look at the page and read more information, they decide it's not for them. Some people don't want to give you their name and email address to sign up. Uh, they just want something for free without an opt-in even. Um, some people might be put off by this and worry about privacy and information security. Um, but generally speaking, you, you can expect about half of the traffic that comes to your website or to your landing page to then convert and get on your email list. Now, not everyone who gets on your email list, again, will be opening emails that you'll be sending to them. If you have an engaged list, again, about half, 60, 70, 70% of people will open the emails as you send them out. The rest of the people will not bother. Some of them are very busy. Some of them have too many emails come in. Some of them sign up for freebie stuff with an email account they don't regularly check. So they might open your emails at some point later, or maybe even never. Um, and for some, there will be a problem that your emails will end up in there, either spam or junk or promotions folder, so they, you know, they won't be able even to see them. Especially it happens if you are using a lot of pictures in your email. So although, yes, as business owners, we want to have our emails very branded and to have them you know, looking very pretty with lots of pictures of you and your products and services, um, it has a counter uh, result in a way that a lot of email marketing systems would treat those emails as promotions. And therefore, if someone's using Gmail, it will often end up in their uh, promotions tab or it could go to their spam or junk mail folders. So if you can send a very simple email, so it's just text and maybe just one picture, um, not too many links, then this will help you get the best uh, delivery rates for your campaigns. And obviously getting your email delivered so people can read it is far more important than just um, having you know, it looking pretty, but then no one actually is able to read it and click and take action. So again, as people go through your email sequence, then about half of them will open the emails and even less than that will actually click and take action. So whether you are sending them a link to a blog post and recommending to go and read it, or whether you're sending them a link to go and download the freebie that they've signed up for, or whether you're sending them a call to action email where you say, hey, you know, go and book a call with me or purchase this product or sign up for the webinar, not everyone will take action. So you need to obviously be mindful that this will always happen. And if you have, you know, 100 people come to your website, it doesn't mean that you'll end up with 100 clients at the end of the funnel. There will always be loss at each step. 
So how can you now create this funnel now that you know that this is what's going to happen? So step number one, so you need to have a freebie that you will be promoting all over social media. Whether you use ads or not use ads, it doesn't matter at this point. You need to have something of value that you can offer for free to your clients. And this freebie needs to be linked to what you want to sell at the end. So if you want to sell, for example, fitness coaching, then your freebie can't be about building a website. If you want to sell website building services, your freebie can't be about the 10 superfoods that people need to um, get in order to be healthy. So your freebie needs to be aligned to what you're selling and be around the point of what your ideal client pain point, challenge or problem is in their life, in their family, in their business, something that they want resolved. Ideally, you'll be picking up a problem that they're actively looking to resolve as opposed to something they're just kind of aware of, but they're not really focused on solving that and they're not really interested in getting that problem fixed. Because for those kind of people, your conversion time from the point that they become your lead to the point they become your client will be even longer. And when you're first starting a business or you're looking to monetize the business as soon as possible, you're ideally looking for people who are quite eager to buy, quite eager to invest in order to solve the problem or challenge that they have. So this is where all those exercises about your ideal client profile, ideal client avatar, um, your you know, best client, they all come handy. If you Google, you can find lots of templates on how to do it. If you're a member of Virtual Marketing Academy, there is a tutorial there of how to create your ideal client profile. Um, and this will help you to work out exactly who is your client, what challenges they have, what you can help them with, and therefore which one you can pick in order to create your funnel around that challenge or problem. Once you've picked it out, then you can create a freebie. So the freebie can be you know, free meditation, a free audio guide, a free PDF guide, a checklist, a worksheet, um, an ebook, um, even a webinar or a video that they can download. So all of those are examples of freebies that you can offer to your ideal clients in order for them to give you their name and email address. So once you've created the freebie, then you need to have a landing page where people will go to sign up for the freebie. Um, on my website, I'll link uh, below this video in the comment as well, um, is that there's a guide on how to create landing pages for your business, including the software tools that you can use to create those landing pages. So if you haven't got any landing pages yet in your business, then make sure to check it out and select the best service or tool that you want to use for your business. Moving on. Once you've got the landing page created, uh, that page will typically have uh, your guide's information, sometimes maybe a picture or some sort of visual representation of what it is, um, a short description of what you're offering, and then a form for people to enter name and email address. Once they enter name and email address, usually your system, whether it's landing page system or the email marketing system you'll use, they'll redirect them to the thank you page. Now with thank you page, this is where you can start thinking about your funnel. So the thank you page is a very important page because obviously everyone who signs up for your freebie, they will see that page. Whether they open their welcome email or not, they will still see the welcome page. Regardless of whether they've confirmed their double, no, done the double opt-in for their email, or if they open the email straight away or in the weeks to come, they will all see the thank you page. So make sure you use this opportunity extremely well, right? There's no other opportunity in a funnel where 100% of people who go through a step will be able to see the step in that funnel. So a lot of people, they just leave that page just nothing and they'll say, oh, thanks, that's it, your guide is on the way to you. This isn't helpful for your business because you're not maximizing the opportunity here. So what can you do with the thank you page that will help you get more clients and more leads long term? 
it depends how you structure your funnel. So if you have a free group, for example, in your business, then the action on that page could be to go and join your free group. If you want to get clients for you know, cons consulting or coaching services, then the action on that page could be for people to go and book a free consultation with you. If you have a low value, low entry kind of product for sale, which you know is $10, maybe $20, then you could put uh, information about that product on the page and offer for, to people to buy that product as soon as they've signed up for the freebie. You might be worried like, well, would they buy straight away? They want you to just sign up. Maybe they don't trust me enough. Yes, of course, not everyone will sign up. Not everyone will take action. But for those who are more committed and more ready to take action, opportunity is already there and if, if it's the right offer that ties in nicely with the lead magnet it's not kind of exactly the same as the lead magnet but it's along the lines of the same problem but approaching it from a different kind of direction if it makes sense then it's likely that it will work really well um, an example you can all go and check out for that for example, is digitalmarketer.com website. They have loads of different freebies for different types of content that they offer. Um, and then when people sign up, then they offer them immediately to purchase a tripwire, this low entry product. So if someone signs up or for a swipe file of well converting Facebook ads, then immediately they're shown an action plan product on how to create Facebook ads. If someone signs up on, on how on a guide on how to do YouTube videos or optimize a YouTube video, they're shown a product about how to do video advertising. So it's similar, but it's not exactly the same, and it complements the problem that people have, whether it's Facebook ads or health or fitness, life coaching, achieving goals. Whatever it is you want to work on with your clients, you can follow this path. So if you want to do get one-to-one -one clients, then offer a consultation on the thank you page for people to sign up and book a time in your diary. If you want to sell products because maybe you don't want to want, don't want to work one-to-one -one with clients or you're fully booked at the moment, then you can offer something for sale. If you have a free group that's quite active and you know lots of people are there already talking, then you can promote the free group on the thanks page because you know that once they join the free group, they are more likely to stay, stay engaged and connected to you, um, see your messages, see your offers, promotions, and then this, this is a way for you to then re-engage them and keep in touch. So once someone and name and email address, their details will go in your email marketing system. Again, there are lots of options of what you can use. There's MailChimp. If you need help with MailChimp, I have a course on how to use MailChimp called MailChimp Success Formula. Let me know and I can send you a link about it. Um, there is a webber, there is active campaign, uh, drip, which is a, a new product recently created by lead pages and it's um, it's a really good system. It's similar to active campaign and what it can do. Um, this convert kit and many, many other systems out there. Uh, some of them are free or really cheap and some of them are more expensive. So it really depends on your business goals, your marketing goals, how quickly will you, you'll be growing your email list and the kind of campaigns that you'll be doing to get leads and clients. So if the only campaign or funnel that you'll be putting in place if someone signs up for the free guide and then they receive a series of autoresponder emails afterwards, then all of the systems I mentioned will be able to do this for you. If you want to have a more complex automation, like evergreen webinars, um, launches, different types of funnels, video series, um, sell multiple digital products, have a membership site, and then you want to stack all these different things on top of each other. So once a client enters from one direction, then they can go across through all those different funnels. Um, then you would need to have a system that can handle this level of complexity, so like Infusionsoft or Entreport and maybe even active campaign, depending on the exact kind of structure of the funnels that you want to create. Um, 
don't look at the cost of your email marketing as necessarily a cost. Yes, it obviously costs your business, but it's a very important investment because this email marketing system is the, the, you know, the soul, the blood of everything that happens in your marketing. If you don't have the right marketing system in place, it's going to be really difficult to grow your business, really difficult to nurture your leads and to sell digital products online. You don't have to invest more than you need to invest, but make sure you have the right system in place to support your needs. So your leads now entered, are entered into your email marketing system automatically and they are in the list for this freebie. So what happens next? Now is the role of your email marketing system to nurture them to the point that they want to become your clients. So whether they book a discovery call with you to work one-to-one, -one, whether they you know, want to purchase a product on your website, whether they submit an inquiry form, um, all these opportunities will be possible through constant lead nurturing of your leads and clients. Why is this important? Just dump it. So why is this important? Because if someone just been to your website and they sign up for your lead magnet, it doesn't mean that they're going to remember your business and what you do in weeks and months to come. During the day, people visit lots of websites, especially if they are browsing specifically around the solution uh, that they're looking for. So if someone wants to get healthy, if someone's looking for ways to get more organized, someone's looking for ways to save money on tax, they're likely to visit quite a few websites, read quite a few blogs in different places um, around that problem and challenge. So they're not going to remember that what that they visited your website. Um, that's why then your lead magnet and your nurture campaign are important to keep in touch and to build what's known as no like trust factor. So when people are in your campaign, then they can go through it step by step to get uh, to know you, to like you, to trust you, and then to want to work with you one to one. So this first email that you will send out, again, it's an important email in your funnel because it's not just the case of here's the freebie that you signed up for, here's the link to download your ebook, here's the link to go and watch the video, here's the link to go and listen to the meditation. It's also an email where you can start building this relationship with people. You can talk about you, what you do, who you work with, what kind of results you achieve for those people. It's the opportunity for you to introduce how you could help this particular person. So whether it's go here and buy the product or go here and book a free consultation, this call to action is important. And then of course you deliver on the promise of delivering that lead magnet that they've signed up for. A lot of people obviously won't take action just after one email and you'll need to send more than one email. This is where those autoresponders come handy. Again, absolutely majority of email marketing tools today can send autoresponders. It might not be on the free plan that they offer, but if you upgrade and start paying even like $10 to month, you will be able to send autoresponders to your list. And the value of being able to do it far exceeds the $10 that you will spend on it. Um, so then the autoresponder campaign will go off afterwards, after the first email. Um, and then through those emails in the most basic funnel, you'll send around five emails. You will talk more about what you do in the business, why you do what you do, why you're great at it, why you're the expert and people can trust you. You can use testimonials, you can use case studies. Um, to support your claim that you're the expert. You can share useful information and add value. So if they sign up for the free lead magnet, what else can you send them to maybe help them use lead magnet or build on the information that's in the lead magnet. Maybe you have some other blogs on your website or you could send them a link to the video that will guide them step-by-step step how to um, use and apply lead magnet in their life or business. Um, you can share obviously your credibility, so the results you've achieved for other clients in their situation, um, where they were, where they are now, why you're good at what you do. And throughout it, you will be sharing the call to action, so whether it's go here to buy or go here to book a call or 
you know, sign up for the webinar where you will uh, present the offer to them. These are all steps you can then include in each of the emails. And towards the end, the emails will become more about the offer and less about the no like and trust factor. So because by that point, they already will know more about you through the emails and videos that you'll send them. Um, they'll decide whether they like you or not through the information they received. Um, and afterwards, they'll decide whether they trust what you say and trust the feedback and um, stories that you've shared with them or whether they don't trust you or they don't trust themselves to be able to achieve results by working with you. That's also an important point to consider throughout the final that maybe, yes, when you work with clients, you can help them, you know, lose three stones in a month or you can help them save 20,000 on their tax bill or you can help them create a seven-figure launch but the next step is whether the person will actually believe it's possible for them in their particular life, in their situation, in their business. That's different from you just saying, yes, I, I've done it for this and this and this. But the person reading this might think, yeah, that's nice. I wish I was in the situation and position of this person. I wish I had this money or I wish... Um, I was 20 years younger, or I wish I lived in a different location, I wish I had more time, I wish I didn't have kids, but then maybe it would work for me as well. So all those objections will come up as they read your offer and um, read your call to action. And again, one of the um, goals for your sales funnel is therefore to show them that the common objections that they might have are not going to be barriers from them working with you. Or if they are barriers, then you'll have to clearly say, look, this works for this and this and this kind of person, but if you, you know, over a certain age, or if you don't have kids yet, I'm not going to be able to help you, or my services cost over a certain amount of money, so if you're not in position to invest, then maybe look at this digital product instead, instead of um, looking to work with me one-to-one. -one. So those qualification factors you could obviously put in place to make sure that people who purchase your services or products or people who book to speak to you one-to-one -one on a call are likely to be the ideal clients you actually want to work with. So what happens then once the funnel is done? So once someone signed up, they've gone through this whole series of you know, five emails and they still haven't taken action and haven't purchased. Um, First of all, obviously they'll stay on your email list. So you continue can continue sending them offers, promotions, newsletters, blog posts, valuable content, videos, webinars, anything that you do in your business that could be valuable and helpful for them, you can email it to them as and when um, you need to do it. Secondly, you after a time you can start evaluating your funnel. Are there steps in the funnel that maybe are not working as well? Because maybe people are not opening those emails because of the subject line or um, other emails where you notice a lot of people drop out and unsubscribe. Maybe you need to relook at the content and copy. Are there um, links that people click a lot but then some are links that don't click a lot. So all this information will start coming in as people go through the funnel, your leads and the, what actions they take or don't take. And then you can test and tweak different approaches. So whether you put um, information about the product on the thank you page or whether you put information to book a consultation with you on the thank you page, which one works better and which one generates more income for your business long term. All these things then can be tested, measured and optimized. But don't worry about it too much if you haven't got any funnel in place yet. The first step is to create a funnel, put it out there and start using it. And then you can look at ways to maximizing it, optimizing it, getting better, creating an extra funnel and really building your online presence and your marketing efforts. Kind of one step at a time. <laughs> That's the important thing. Don't overwhelm yourself with trying to do too many things and then just getting lost, overwhelmed and confused with all those myriad of things that you think you need to do. 
If you have any questions after watching this, then please go and below the video. If you're watching it on YouTube, if you're watching it on the blog, then feel free to leave comments, questions, share it with your friends on social media who might be running a business or thinking of starting a business. Maybe it will help them as well at getting more leads and more clients and growing their business quicker. Um, and uh, make sure to subscribe, like, follow. So again, you can get notified every time I do another podcast like this and you can learn more. Um, and if you think you need help with your funnels and your marketing and your traffic, then you can go to my website, tamarabranova.com, and um, you can book a free consultation or submit an inquiry form, and we'll take it from there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon.